AMD stock ran up in anticipation of maybe a better quarter, and perhaps maybe this was the clear out of the inventory. It did not happen. So the shares are falling in reaction to the company's quarterly result. Uh, and also the guidance, which a lot of people feel was suboptimal. I think we've got to dig deeper with this because I don't think we should just think about the next quarter, maybe the next year. CEO Lisa Sue joins us now to discuss what's going on and her outlook. And Lisa, it is always great to see you. Thank you for coming back to Squawk on the Street. Excellent. It's great to be here, Jim, with uh, you and David. Okay, so Lisa, we can discuss the next 39 days, and I find that somewhat trivial. <laughs> or we can discuss what could happen with chat, but we can discuss what happened with generative AI. I prefer to do that. I understand that some people feel there's too much, uh, too many, many chips in the inventory, but is it not possible that a year from now we're going to have an explosion that's going to need all hands on deck from your company to be able to produce as many chips as you can? Yeah, absolutely, Jim. Well, first of all, you know, let me start with saying, you know, I think we executed very well in the first quarter. At, when we look at, you know, the overall demand environment, we actually uh, were uh, exceeding our revenue and earnings uh, for the quarter. And, you know, as we look forward, as you said, this is an incredible time uh, for the computing industry. Um, everybody needs more compute. Uh, there's so much excitement around uh, what's going on in the data center. Uh, we all need uh, to build out more in the cloud infrastructure. And there's a lot of excitement about what AI can do for us in every industry, you know, going forward. So, you know, this is a big bet for us uh, to ensure that, you know, we have all the computing capabilities across all aspects of, you know, cloud to client devices to really accelerate this generative AI uh, boom that we're seeing. Well, what would happen, I'm going to suppose something, what would happen if you made a deal with Microsoft, which is considered to be the advanced uh, player right now in this, where I could talk to my PC and just say, make me a reservation for two at Bernard Dan at 830. Wouldn't I be able to do that within the next two years? Well, what is most exciting about it is we're putting AI into every aspect of our product portfolio. So we actually have um, our first AI uh, PCs actually launching um, you know, this year. We actually have some of them in market already. And yes, they're just going to get smarter and smarter going forward. Um, the same is true in the cloud, right? We have um, you know, all of our, you know, ChatGPT is wonderful, but it can be even better as we bring newer models, newer compute, newer capability going forward, and really connecting what you're doing in the cloud to what you're doing on the client side is actually what we're best at because we have you know, all of these pieces. Okay, so let, let's touch on what the analysts are touching on. Obviously, there was channel uh, problems here. You had inventory in the channel. A lot of the analysts are trying sub rosa to say that Intel is maybe caught in past year. You have a real price war in your hands in order to be able to maintain share. Uh, what's the true narrative of what's happened and what's happening within the next 60 to 90 days? Yeah, you know, I really don't see that. I think what, what I see is actually the inventory conditions have improved um, as we've gone through the last um, quarter or two. Uh, we've been very much focused on, you know, clearing overall inventories, both on the PC side as uh, as well as on the cloud side. You know, what we see going forward is actually an improving demand environment, especially as we get into the second half of the year. Uh, we're very bullish on our data center business. Uh, we have a tremendous roadmap. Uh, you know, we've talked uh, before, Jim, about the Italian cities. So, uh, you know, Genoa is doing very well. Uh, Bergamo is our next uh, capability. We're adding um, all of uh, a significant number of new workloads um, across uh, the industry. So we feel very good about the demand trends going into the second half of the year. And, and you know, from a cycle standpoint, we're actually through uh, most of the cycle already.